Hey guys, Max here from ShopSolarKits.com. Today's video is going to be a quick one. We're going to be doing a bit of a deeper dive into the EcoFlow app. We're going to show you how to use it, how to monitor your equipment, and then we're going to wrap up the video by testing an air conditioner with an EcoFlow Delta Pro. One of the most common questions we get are people asking how long can an air conditioner be powered by a solar generator. So I've gone ahead and purchased one of the most popular but also affordable air conditioners off of Amazon. We're going to plug that into the EcoFlow Delta Pro, see how long that would run for to give you a realistic idea of what you would get in a similar situation. So before we can start using the EcoFlow app, we need to download it onto our phones or our iPad, whatever you have. So go to the App Store. I've got an iPhone, so I go into the App Store and I've typed in EcoFlow. Make sure to download the app onto your phone and make sure to update it as well. I ran into a few issues here. I was actually about to message EcoFlow thinking that their app wouldn't work, but I needed to go in and update to the latest version of the app. So once you download it, make sure that you have it updated to the most recent version of the app or else it's not gonna work. Once you have the app downloaded, you're gonna wanna hit the top right button click the plus sign and connect to the device that you have purchased. As you can see here, it lists out all the available products that can connect to the app. For testing purposes, as you can see on the app, I've got both a Delta Pro and a Delta Max. The app allows you to connect as many EcoFlow devices as you have into the app and you're able to monitor and handle all of them from within the app. Once you've got that, it's going to prompt you to hold down the IoT reset button. On the Delta Pro, the IoT reset button, all that really means is just the Wi-Fi button. That is on the side of the unit here on the DC side. It's actually right beside where you can connect the remote control. Once you've held that down and you've paired your Delta Pro with the app, now let's go through and look at the app and go through the functions that the app actually has. We'll notice on the front of the app, you can see the percentage of charge of the EcoFlow Delta Pro. Notice here and take note that it's at 91% state of charge. And I'm gonna come back to this in a second. You can see the input and the output, either what you're charging or what you're discharging. You can see all of the ports on the front, all of the USB ports and if they're charging anything. Now that we've plugged in the USB-C charger to charge up the phone, we can see that the front of the Delta Pro, the app up here, and on the bottom right, where it shows the USB-C charger, we're showing an output of five watts while we charge up the phone. If you come up to the top, this is where you're able to change various settings in your EcoFlow Delta Pro. If you hit discharge and charge level, you can actually set the percentage of charge that you want your Delta Pro to operate within. So I've gone in and I've said that I don't want my Delta Pro to get less than 9% battery, and I don't want it to charge more than 91%. I told you before that you could see that this is marked at 91% and I actually have the Delta Pro plugged directly into the wall right now. Because I've marked this at 91% and I don't want the Delta Pro to charge anymore, it won't. Now let's go through the app right now and I'm gonna put this to 100. I'm gonna hit confirm and we're gonna watch instantly how this starts to charge. You can see it's already shooting up and let's go back now to the main settings tab on our app and we can see the input going to 1500 watts. If I wanna change that back and I'm like, no, I, I actually don't want this to charge up to 100, I'm gonna go back into the app and change it to 92. I'll hit confirm. And as soon as this unit hits 92%, which it basically has, it stops charging. There's tons of other features that you can change within the app as well. So you can change the AC charge speed. What this means is when you plug it into the wall, you can change how fast you want it to charge. The car input, so whether you want to charge when you plug it into the car at eight amps, six amps, or at four amps. You can change if there's a beeping sound. You can change the screen brightness on your Delta Pro. When the smart gas generator is available, this is the setting that you use to be able to control it. For unit timeout, even if you're not using it, if you don't want the unit to stay on continuously, this is for people, for example, who are setting up a security system and they want to be able to power it 24 seven. They don't want this unit to time out, even if very little power is being used. You go to the unit timeout, you'll click that and you'll select never. You never want that to time out. The screen timeout can be done the same and the AC timeout as well. Then at the bottom, you have firmware, help center, and specifications, all of which you can go into as well. All right, to wrap up the video, as I mentioned, I have purchased one of the most affordable yet popular air conditioners, a portable one from Amazon. 
This is it right here. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it into the front of the Delta Pro. We've got the expansion battery here as well. The expansion battery is at 100% and the, the main unit here is at 92. We're gonna put this on maximum cool, so about as cold as it can get. And then we'll see how long the Delta Pro plus expansion battery say that we'll be able to power this uh, air conditioner for. So we've also got the app here. We're gonna monitor this as well on the app. We'll go ahead and turn on the AC directly from the app. You can hear that click on. We can hear the air conditioner kick on. I'm gonna hit the power button. hear the air conditioner turn on. Sorry about the, the noise here, folks. I'm gonna hit cool, make sure we hit cool. It doesn't go less than 60. So we'll hit that. And you can hear the condenser kick on. This is definitely cool. You can hear this kicking on here, and we can see the front of the unit at around 550 watts or so. That's gonna give us around nine, nine and a half hours of runtime with Delta Pro and the expansion battery. I haven't actually factored in the inverter efficiencies. I've seen some YouTubers do inverter efficiencies. I can't remember, I think it's roughly 88 to 92% efficiency. That means we're not gonna get the full nine and a half hours out of this. Seven and a half to eight hours though is gonna be a super reasonable amount of time that you would be able to get the maximum cold on this air conditioner through the Delta Pro and the expansion battery right here.